Hello everyone, welcome back to the 12 days of soapmas. Today I'm going to be reacting to some TikTok soap making videos. If you guys have been here before, you know that I have done a few other professional soap maker reacts videos and now it's time to roast some TikToks. Also, I just want to say this is my true reaction. I have not seen any of these videos. My personal assistant Caroline has compiled all of them for me so you're getting Getting the raw, real first impression. Okay, so first up we have a sponge. Cut into the sponge. Wait, did the sponge just, hold on. <laughs> what is happening? Did they just paint it? Like they just up and painted it, but they didn't tell you. I'm gonna have to watch it again. I'm a little confused. Okay, cut into the sponge and then they're like, bam, it's a watermelon. I mean, yes, that would work. Now, depending on the type of sponge you have, it could be really abrasive on your hands because I don't know about you guys, but kitchen sponges for me are a little bit rough. Like I like to wear rubber gloves to protect my hands and these people are just like, yeah, exfoliate. <laughs> <laughs> Would it work? Yes, but like this whole TikTok is just, it's just, there's so many missing steps here. All right, gal with pink hair has pink soap. Oh no, something's broken. <laughs> Whoa, yeah, get it all up, but there's still broken glass. What shall she do? Oh, the pink soap to just murder. Okay, so sister just took a perfectly good like handmade soap and was like, let me just smash it into the glass. Okay, I watched it like four times and it never isn't infuriating. It's even got poppy seeds in it. Like this soap, she probably has a friend who made her this soap and they thought of her and they were like, Listen, you're gonna love this, Priscilla. It has beautiful, beautiful swirls. It smells amazing. And she's like, you know what? I think of this soap, I smash it into glass on my bathroom floor. That's what I think about. Okay, I paused the video now. So it says, when you can't find antibacterial liquid soap, make it out of antibacterial bar soap. You can use any four ounce bar of soap. I chose antibacterial dial. I could go into detail, but I won't go into detail. I'll spare you the trouble. If you want to read about what the word antibacterial means, you want to know how it's been used kind of as a marketing strategy by very large companies, I'll leave you some links down below. <laughs> okay, so she's graded up uh, a bar of dial. Add nine cups of boiling water and let it melt completely. Okay, let's set for at least 12 hours. Set? I wonder if she meant let sit because I see a whole pot of boiling water here and setting it would mean like there's no heat or anything, you're just letting it harden. But I'm seeing like boiling. So is she saying like to boil this pot of water and soap? Okay, all done. <laughs> okay, that's it. She's just like, bam, that's how you use it. So when you let a bar of soap that has already been made uh, just sit in water, it just gets really runny and gloopy and slimy. And it's just not pleasant, I would say. Would highly recommend just getting a foaming hand pump. I really would. Sometimes I think there's DIYs that technically work, but it's like, but why would you do it? <laughs> That's what I'm getting from this. Like the amount of effort, you're not even like making it a better bar because dial isn't that wonderful. Um, and there was nothing really being added to it. So it's just like, well, we'll just turn it into a liquid. So there were no like essential oils or botanicals or anything like that. I just feel like this one is just unnecessary. That's what I would say. I said it, this is a soap making channel and I'm sticking to it. So pack, um, hat or hand, you tell me what is going What? What? Okay, I'm pausing because in no universe is this helpful. None, like none. I guess they're like, I don't want to have to pick the soap up off the counter. I'd rather it just be free floating. And so I'm willing to sacrifice the integrity of my spigot and faucet. Just, ah, uh, what? <laughs> they're getting lazy here too. Like I remember some of the first soap hacks I was watching, they were like, look, get yourself a melt and pour base. Sure, you're gonna put aloe vera with all the spines on it in a blender, it'll be great. But now they're just like, let's just buy a bar of soap and stick a hole in it. Throw it on our sink. That's a hack, right? We should put that in a video. Like this is pathetic. So my friend, my friend's gonna be trying this out cause he already knows this is ridiculous. So he's just gonna show you how. And of course it doesn't fit over a regular water spigot. I feel so salty. So let's see how well this works. <laughs> 
commences awkward hand washing. <laughs> That made me a little infuriated for some reason. That might be the angriest I felt in a video is watching that hack. <laughs> All right, let's do the citrus loofah soap because this has never been done before and there are no tutorials on it at all. Microwave until melted. All right, get yourself a piece of twine, stick it through the loofah. Let me guess, you gonna get a little soap, a little soap, you gonna color it, pour it in a little moldy mold. Yeah, I mean, this would work. It absolutely would work. It's a great hack. It will be nice and scrubby. I mean, no instructions whatsoever, but does it work? Absolutely it does. And it's a very, very, very popular thing to do. So if you're looking to start soap making and you wanna try with something simple, that's a great thing. It requires minimal ingredients, you know, color and scent as you please. You could probably get absolutely everything you need for that at your local craft store. So, you know, 10 out of 10, that's a thumbs up from me. Self-care summer, <laughs> activated charcoal. Okay, whoa, just, <sighs> did you notice? how it went from like a 16th of a teaspoon to wow, now the entire bar is completely pitch black. Let me tell you something about activated charcoal. So activated charcoal is not like other dark black soap colorants. It's almost sandy a little bit. So it's got kind of a rougher texture. It doesn't disperse like a pigment would. So if you want to use activated charcoal to make a black in soap, I mean, you're using heaping amounts of it because it's large granules, essentially. So seeing this go from like, oh, this much to like the soap is completely black. They definitely added a colorant. If you tried to do that at home and didn't have a black colorant, your soap would look absolutely nothing like that. It would be clear with little black speckles all in it. So if that was something that was going to motivate somebody at some point to make an activated charcoal soap with lavender essential oil, don't be fooled. <laughs> right. So add the essential oil, add a little bit of, was that cosmetic safe glitter? Did they specify? Body shimmer. Well, that's highly specific. <laughs> Make sure it's eco-friendly, plastic free. If you're gonna add it in, that's my suggestion. Head over to the Good Glitter. Um, popsicle mold, let's sit for 30 minutes. Yep, this is a hack that would definitely work. Wholesale Supplies Plus actually sells kits for popsicle soaps like this because it's such a common thing to do. And because it's so easy and so cute, such a cute thing to do. They're even spritzing it with rubbing alcohol to help the two layers adhere together. So that's refreshing to see as well. All right, spritz again, wow, to pop all the bubbles on top. All right, yeah, this is this is great, totally work. Of course, they're not including anything about ingredients or measurements or anything like that, but the concept is solid. I already don't like whatever this is. Oh, just, okay, what are you doing? To dry soap, okay, and then you, Okay, so what they're trying to do here is create like single use soaps, but they're doing it with a paper towel. Here's what you could do instead. Forget the paper towel, uh, take a bar of soap, take a potato peeler and just, whoosh, there you go, single use. <laughs> and less paper. I'm not, okay. So not to be a packaging snob, but the soap box, like, I would just like to see a little more effort. <laughs> like, could you put some stickers on it? It's a video. You're making millions and millions of dollars off of people watching this. Like, throw a sticker. Be wild, be free. Baby hands, baby oil, soap base, cornstarch. Whoa, what is going on? Okay, Play-Doh, all right. Little, little starfish, right on. And in like sand, wait, so. So let me get this straight. You're making soap, then you're putting the soap in sand, and then you're having someone pick it up on your counter so they can get sand all over their hands with the soap, right? Does that sound about right? Would that work? Maybe. I mean, I've never done that before, and I feel like this is just barely, barely soap. Because you've got the baby oil and the dye and then soap base, but like, would that even lather, really? I'm feeling like 
not. A suggestion, I would say, if you wanted to do something fun like this and have like cute fun soaps for kids, just use the soap base. Like use the soap base, pour it into the fun mold and unmold it and let them use it. But adding in all of those other ingredients will probably kill the lather. They won't last very long because they're not very hard. They're not gonna hold their shape. They'll probably just crumble all the bits. So that's just, it's just not, not a vibe. Okay guys, last video. Oh boy, here's one from our very best friend, Five Minute Crafts. What are you doing today? Oh my gosh. Okay, someone just, they just up and stuck their ear in it. I guess in like a silicone casting, whatever, but oh my gosh, it's just so jarring. They're like, Let's, oh, when it's skin colored? Like, come on. <laughs> if you're gonna make an ear soap, you, you can't make it flesh toned. That is gruesome. <laughs> also, 100% did not just make that silicone mold out of her dipping her ear in it for five seconds. I feel like most people probably know that, but I'm just saying it's far too detailed. There is absolutely no way. Wow! <laughs> I don't know why, those TikToks made me feel more heated than the other ones. I don't know if it's because it was so short, so it just felt like here's a bunch of information, most of which is wrong, in a really short amount of time. Get ragey! <laughs> But that was just, woo. All right, so if you actually wanna make soap, you wanna make cool soaps, you wanna make novelty soaps, there's a variety of resources that will actually show you how to do that. If you wanna make cold process soap, I have a completely free instructional series on YouTube called the Royal Creative Academy. I'll show you how to do it start to finish. If you wanna learn how to make melt and pour, there are tons of online resources for that. My go-to is always Brambleberry because not only do they have the instructions for free online they also have a lot of teaching kits and then of course if you just want to go to like a craft store then they will have everything pre-made you will not get the best results with those types of boxes but if that's more in your budget and you don't want to you know pay for shipping and stuff from a soap making supplier then that's going to be your safest bet do not do most of those. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Tell me if you would like me to do more videos like this. Feel free to tag me on the social media listed down below. If you find a video that you're like, sister, you need to react to this. You need to see it. It's craziness. I am more than happy to add it to another compiled list. We'll make another video. Be sure you do something fun for yourself today. Like, you know, maybe browsing uh, for soap videos on TikTok for countless hours. Caroline, how long do you think you spent looking for soap videos? Oh, I would say close to an hour. It usually could have been more. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever floats your boat. That's what we're encouraging. Just do something fun for yourself, whatever that is, and we will see you guys in the next video. So until then, bye for now. Yeah.